Uh, just getting out this um, this limited liability company. Yes, Full Sail Systems LLC. Yeah, that was my actual office address. Yes, I had the responsibility commodity trading advisor. See, when you learn about being a registered agent because you have your own business. Yes, it says that. Um, uh, for the above named limited liability company, as such, I understand that it will be my responsibility. It's my responsibility to inform law enforcement. It's my responsibility to avail, avoid and refrain. It's my responsibility to tell you when you're violating the laws of the United States. It's my responsibility. Mm -hmm. Uh, to forward mail to the limited liability company and to immediately notify the office of the Secretary of State if I resign mm -hmm, or change the registered office address. Mm -hmm. Responsibility seems to be a problem in the Sheriff's Department. Ouch. Bill. You told law enforcement that I was a homeless, mentally ill man mm -hmm. when I did understand my responsibility and I've been emailing your office since 2015. Yes. You said I was a, a jailhouse lawyer. Yes. But I actually did have the responsibility, yes, of owning an LLC and an S Corp. Failure to report a change can be penalized, RCW 82.32.090, yes. You know, this penalization, yes, known as fines, jail time, and quite possibly prison time, if <clears throat> these files of the clients, they all were in this LLC, yes. See, those month-end statements, it's not about the amount of money. Mm -hmm. It's about what I would tell them that I would do, yes. And I told them that I would not have any unnecessary risk. Yes. Now, when I started in 2007, yes. did I know there was going to be a credit crisis? No. Had I spent a year working on uh, a commodity trading advisor, right, uh, actual program called the Wooden Triangle. Yes. I did all the testing myself at the kitchen table. And I was absolutely sure about the programming. Mm -hmm. The problem is when the market does something different than it had did for the last, oh, probably 40 years. Mm -hmm. See, Y2K really affected the stock market. Yes. But when you have a credit crisis, it affects uh, the actual interest rates of mortgages. <coughs> it does. It does. <laughs> now, if you go on that, on that drive, yes. I had to file as a CTA a certain document with the National Futures Association. Yes. And as much as you said, well, I was just trying to rip people off, I actually spent a year mm -hmm, sitting at the kitchen table working on my own programming. Mm -hmm. Now, I know I'm mentally ill. <clears throat> well, the truth is, Sheriff, yes, mm -hmm. I'm what you call above average intelligence, yes. but I just... I don't work to my potential. Now, I'm wanting, yes, to file some lawsuits. The NFA doesn't accept everybody's idea about how to trade clients' accounts unless they actually read the documentation. Yes. Seems like there's some responsibility on the part of the NSA to make sure that they don't allow any mentally ill individuals. <laughs> You didn't give me any notice or opportunity to be heard. You didn't uh, give me any opportunity to be heard. Yeah. Now, uh, I was a licensed. Oh, look at here. Uh, Spokane Falls Community College transcript. Yes. I went to community college and I was a dropout in my early 20s. I smoked too much pot. Ooh. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. I got this on January 13th of 2012. Yes. When I had got to my grandmother's house on January 7th of 2012 from Guam. Yeah. Uh, the classes that I actually took. Yes. Didn't do that good. 
some reason, biofeedback, American civilization, and elementary German were not that interesting to me. Yeah. And uh, this was uh, when I lived in Spokane, 2217 West uh, 5th Street. Yeah. Now, uh, they probably have some dates on here. Did you look at the actual dates? Mm -hmm. Of course, this is the unofficial transcript, but it's my actual name. Now, what's it going to take for you to decide you're going to enforce the laws of the United States? We're going to have a cell hearing. Yes. You're going to involve expert witnesses that have errors and omissions insurance. Uh-huh. And they're going to risk everything they own because of your obstruction of justice. Got a lot of pictures in this drive. Yeah. Wonder how that happens. How do you slash email accounts? Mm -hmm. How do you obstruct the rights of American citizens? <laughs> I'm not helping myself. Mm -hmm. Well, think of all of those individuals that have their own. Ooh, look at that. They have their own own businesses that you as a court said we don't have to protect the due process rights of business owners you gave everything to my wife you allowed mike van proyen to kick me out of the fifth wheel mm -hmm. i inform you of fraud yes and for the last oh couple of years you've completely ignored what i said mm -hmm. i documented that my sister was in a picture and you refused to prosecute Mike sent me a text message in 2013 that if I ever attempt to contact Mike in Maryland, yes, that he'd, he'd call the authorities on <laughs> So you allowed somebody to turn the electricity off on an individual that was volunteering in the church, yes, instead of obligating them to evict me mm -hmm, so that I'd, be, I'd have to take all my shit with me, <laughs> including my backup drives that have all the documents. Now, as a sheriff's fucking department, you sure the fuck don't seem to understand the necessity of forcing the laws. Letter of redemptive need. Oh. You know, I send um, emails that have pictures in them. Yes, I used to write long emails. And then over the years, I've realized how stupid sheriffs are and police officers. Yes, you get confused when I have too many fucking sentences. <laughs> Now, let me see here. I'm writing this letter as an extension of plea <clears throat> for my personal well-being and the future well-being of my family. <clears throat> I've included in the recipients of this letter four individuals that I feel can help the most in my pursuit of truth <clears throat> regarding my current situation. Oh, namely Governor Eddie Calvo. <clears throat> And by extension, his chief of staff, Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio. Steve Martinez, the deacon of the Catholic Archdiocese. Yes. And former Lieutenant Governor Frank Blas Sr. Oh. Oh, oh. I am writing to you, Governor Calvo, because I have followed your career here on Guam with great interest for the 11 months I and my family have lived here. <laughs> Uh, from the campaign speech that was televised the first week of November, yes, of last year, yes, regarding the great light coming to Guam to your island address and the double emphasis on so many meaningful issues facing your administration, <laughs> to my varied experience that I've had in the Pala store, yes, and uh, finally to my recently stopping by your office two months ago to deliver a book I had read while living in a homeless shelter. <laughs> I actually did know uh, Governor Eddie Calvo, though we ever, we didn't meet each other. <laughs> I was reading a book called Ike. He was a president of the United States of America. You know, when I got to Guam, somebody said I was a saint. Mm -hmm. Saints are kind of weird. Mm -hmm. They have this uh, want to be holy. Pooch. <laughs> And on Guam, 80% of the population was Catholic. Yes. My wife was the witch and I was the saint in a lot of the, the movies. <laughs> I mentioned the governor Calvo that, you know, you know, let them know where you go. Let them know where you go. You know, when you try to put a saint in a mental institution because of your refusal to enforce their constitutional rights, <laughs> I could sue the governor of the state of... Oh, oh somebody doesn't like saints. Ooh. 
Then there's a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, writing to Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio at that time. He was a big one on writing editorials to the newspapers. Yes. I had um, a person, Jay Merrill. Yes. He once told me, read the newspaper. Yes. Well, every day I'd go look for housing and I'd stop by the local library in Dededo, yes, where the homeless shelter was, and I'd read anything from the government that I thought would apply to my personal situation. <laughs> well, I followed his editorials, yes, I did, with great appreciation, especially that one of your admon uh, admonition, yes, to stay properly hydrated, as in drink lots of fucking water. See, on Guam, I was the water. <laughs> Could be said that Jesus said something about water in the Bible. Ah, uh, because the Calvo administration is leading. There was a big discussion between the witches and the saints. Yes, the Democrats and the Republicans. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.